Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is about being independent from the good opinions of other people. Let's dive in. Hey, what up y'all? Welcome back to another video. I'm glad you're here. The late great Dr. Wayne Dyer said you must be independent from the good opinions of other people. What does this mean? He gives a few different stories in which he was going off to be a writer, an author, a speaker. And I'm sure you've had this. And if you've ever heard of a gentleman named The Real Brad Lee, if you haven't, highly recommend you listen to him. He's got an amazing podcast called Dropping Bombs. He always talks about it. You got to just move on and do your thing and not worry about the opinions of other people. Brad Lee, what he said is, you know, I think it was a short clip on TikTok that I recently saw and he was talking about, you know, the holiday season coming up and you're going to go see these family members that you may or may not want to see, but a lot of them, especially old school, will be questioning you and just kind of wondering, you know, are you really going to start that business? Are you sure you're gonna wanna, you gonna want to want to go and try to be an artist? You want to start that YouTube channel? You want to you know go do this? You don't just want to go get a safe job? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I am gonna go do that stuff because what it is, and here's here's what I've learned in my experience, and then I've had some uh, recent anecdotes I'll share with you as well. Is when you start to pursue your passion, when you start to do what you really want to do, what you're meant for, and you really attack it, and then you get comfortable with it, and even more so uh, in the beginning. There are going to be a lot of people who don't support you, who question you, who actually don't want you to succeed. They're going to hate on you. And when you start to garner attention, you're definitely public attention. That is, you're really going to start to trigger people. Uh, because what you have to understand is this. It doesn't, when these people are triggered and they're not wanting you to succeed and they're doubting you and all this stuff. All that is, is a projection of their own insecurities, a projection of their own triggers and lack of confidence in what they want to do. And when they see you doing what you want to do and pursuing what's important to you and making it happen, it triggers them as a reminder of what they're not doing. So instead of supporting you, it's an emotional response in which they want to bring you back down so that you do not succeed. And so they care about you and yes, they want you to succeed, but low key, a lot of people actually don't because again, it's a symbol and a reminder of what they're not doing and it makes them feel uncomfortable. And we as human beings do not like feeling comfortable. If there's a, I can't remember where I heard this story, but there was a story of a fisherman walking by a, a dock going to the ship. And he looks in this barrel and it was a barrel of crabs. And he looks at this other guy, or is a, a tourist walking by and he looks at the fisherman and he goes, those crabs are trying to climb out of the barrel. They're almost out of there. And the fisherman turns at the man, the tourist, and he goes, just watch, I don't have to do anything. And so the tourist turns back to the barrel of crabs. As he looks, what happens is when one of these crabs is climbing up to the close to the edge of the barrel and it's almost going to get out of the barrel, one of the crabs or many of the crabs pull that crab right back down into the pit. And that's kind of what happens when you start to go for your purpose. You do what you want to do. You start to shine your light. You pursue your passion. There's going to be a lot of crabs in your life trying to keep you in the barrel and pulling you down. Again, understand that this is simply an emotional response, a trigger, because you're reminding them of what they're not doing and it makes them feel uncomfortable and whatever stories they start telling themselves in their head. So here's the important message. Don't let that shit stop you. Do not let any of that stuff stop you. Keep moving forward. Keep doing what you want to do. Do not let anyone hinder you. Hence the name of this particular video and what I started with as Dr. Do uh, late great Dr. Wayne Dyer states, you must be independent from the good opinions of other people. So they have this opinion that, oh, you should stay safe, get a job, go back to school, yada, yada, don't start that business. It's their good opinion. And if you know in your heart, you know, this is what you want to do and sure it'll be uncomfortable. It's not going to be easy. You got to do it. You have to be independent from the good opinions of your parents, of your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, your uncles, your aunts, your friends, all these different people, because they're just trying to be like those crabs and pull you back down the barrel. Do not worry about it. Just move on. Recently, I, I've, um, 
I started to experience some internet trolls, some online trolls on my social media as I'm, you know, trying to put out my content and stuff, and it was interesting. Um, the very first one I had, I responded, you know, and this guy, this guy was hurt. He left like three different comments on the same post, and he was just like, oh, you're just a gym bro. You can't decipher the words of Jordan Peterson. You don't have it in your brain or something like that, and he was just super triggered, and he was like just saying all this like, like cruel stuff or trying to be, but... It didn't really get to me, and I, I, the lesson I learned was this, I, you know, I responded to the comments, and I said, I was just like, hey, man, I'm like, I'm sorry, like, life sucks for you, dude, like, I'm, you know, like, I, I don't know what you want me to do about it, you know what I mean, because really all it was is just a projection of his pain, right, I'm out here doing my thing, trying to help people, trying to move men forward, get them in shape, feel better about themselves, lose weight, all that stuff, that's what I do, that's what I'm here for, and this guy was just super triggered by it. And uh, I felt nothing but compassion and love, you know, because um, I've been there before where I hated life and people so much that, uh, you know, I just wanted to spread nothing but anger and cruelty on the world. And that's what he was trying to do. And so I saw it, man. I just, it, you know, it made me sad. It made me compassionate. It made me sympathetic. And I was just like, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Whatever happened to you while you're so angry, dude. I was like, you know, go and, if you just go and work on yourself, like, you won't be so angry, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? Triggered by random strangers online. Uh, and you know, he responded and the, and the response made me even more sad. And he said, he's like, Oh, I made you upset, huh? And I was like, no man, not at all. I was like, I, I, I'm like, I just feel sorry. Like I'm, you know, I, it, not out of pity, but like, I've been there, you know, like I have sympathy, dude. I have compassion. Like, I feel sorry, like that you're feeling this way. Like you're literally just trying to get, you know, like make other people feel bad cause you feel like shit. It's the old saying, right? Hurt people, hurt people. So what you have to understand is that bringing it back to the topic of this video is that you must be independent from the good opinions of other people when you're on your purpose and you're moving forward. And then also when there is negativity projected onto you, again, it's the same thing. All you're doing is you are triggering other people's shadows, their insecurities, their pain, and they're projecting that pain onto you and trying to bring you down just like the crabs in the barrel. So the opportunity is to be the bigger man or woman and recognize this. And it doesn't mean you just, you know, let people outright disrespect and you don't stand up for yourself. Absolutely not. But you must come from a place of compassion and understanding. And that allows you to respond in an appropriate fashion without emotion and, and uh, emotional reaction, right? Rather than being like, oh, F off, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, tearing this dude down because he's in a bad place and People that are in that bad place, you never know. Uh, I mean, for me, when I was depressed, it was, you are so sensitive to anything and like you never know what's gonna push someone over, over the edge. So you definitely do not, you know, wanna reciprocate with any type of negative emotion. Um, again, you know, people like that, that are in a lot of pain, they're in a vulnerable state. So you must recognize and just simply move on and choose to ignore it. After that interaction, I've had a couple other trolls come up recently. I just deleted it, man. I deleted their comments and blocked them. And this one guy deleted his comment and he came back and he's like, why would you delete my comment? Oh, go cry about it. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, what are you doing, dude? Like, you're just some random dude with like a, one of the faceless profile pictures, like spamming shit. I'm like, dude, just stop. Like, go, you know, you don't have to watch any of this stuff. Um, so again, and for me, I, I recognize it and I'm like, man, I'm sorry. Like, I mean, I, I mean, I, and to be honest, I'm not sorry. I really don't give a shit. <laughs> right. Um, I mean, part of me does and part of me does it. Um, I just decided to not interact with it, not waste time with it, not spend time on it. So do not let the good opinions of other people stop you from doing what you want to do. And then do not let other people's projected triggers and negative emotions in response to whatever you're doing stop you from doing it. Because for a second, I did have a moment where like I could feel myself emotionally in my heart like, oh man, I'm really putting myself out there. I'm vulnerable. Um, you know, uh, maybe, you know, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Oh crap. Like, and I thought I was, it, it wasn't going to stop me, but I was aware of the response that I was having that was like, oh, maybe you shouldn't. And I was like, what the hell? Of course you are. And then the irony of that is uh, one of my really close like friends that I grew up with messaged me on Facebook randomly. And he's like, dude, you look freaking amazing. He's like, you're, you know, you're jacked. It's, I'm super inspired right now. Like, you know, how are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. And it's just, you know, someone very near and dear to me, just nothing but love and support for my journey and what I'm doing. And so it was just confirmation, you know, um, of what I'm sharing right now is that Wes Watson always says this too listening to my share of him highly recommend him if you kind of need some tough love like kicking the 
kick in the ass, go listen to Wes Watson. Um, and he talks about, he says, when you begin to shine your light, you're going to either inspire people or you're going to trigger the shit out of them. And your job is not to deal with any of these low frequency motherfuckers. Your job is to go on and continue to do what you're meant to do. Um, and another thing I'll share that's come up that he shares that uh, I guess is relevant. It's all relevant. He says, your job in this world is to become the best man that you can be in this world and then go and share that with everybody. That is your one and only job. And so these other people, instead of working on themselves, they're choosing again to just try and waste, they're spending their energy and wasting their energy trying to bring you down. So do not message again. Do not let other people bring you down. Continue to shine your light and pursue your purpose. Do not let anybody stop you. Uh, in the beginning, it's difficult. It's an adjustment. It's something new. At times it can be lonely because a lot of people won't support you. And again, they low key don't want you to succeed. But once you start breaking past it, and I'm in that moment right now, man, it's beautiful, it's empowering. And then I can just feel all of the uh, tangible physical results starting to catch up um, from all the physical work that I've been doing and putting in and continue to do. So stay on your path and stay focused. I hope this message resonated with you. If you heard it, you needed to hear this. So uh, continue to move forward and shine your light. Don't let anybody stop you. Your pain or their pain and their projections and negative opinions of you are not your problem and not your responsibility. You have nothing to do with it. It has nothing to do with you. It's all their own stuff and you don't have to deal with it. So move on, ignore it, and stay in your vibe. Stay in your vibe, stay in your light, continue to move forward. And as my company is, you elevate that shit. Elevate, elevate, elevate. That's what we're here to do is raise that energy level. So hope this was helpful. You have a wonderful rest of your day. I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.